if you are looking for a way to lend a helping hand, she's got some ideas for you. Hey, Rock Rock. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so I have to tell you guys a really sad, sad story. As you can see, we have our nurse here really searching long and hard for my veins. So I went uh -oh. to go, I went to go give blood recently, and um, they had a hard time finding my veins, and it took forever. So what does that mean? Does that mean I'm dehydrated? What does that mean? Hydration is a really big uh, oh, wow. deal when it comes to drawing blood. Yeah. Um, it makes your veins nice and full, and it makes it easier for the needle to go in. So uh. hydration is huge. See, there you go. I just got to drink more water. All right, but you know who does have very hydrated veins? Who, who is that? I'll give that to you. Right. Is our man G-Man over here? G-Man, how are you doing? Yeah. I'm feeling pretty good. They got me all hooked up to this crazy machine. Donating a unit of platelets today, so they take the blood out, they cycle it in this yeah. centrifuge, and then they put the blood back in with a coagulant or anticoagulant. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I know a little bit of your backstory here. You were a, you were an avid giver here, but then you stopped for a while, and now you're back. So what made you stop, and what made you come back? Yeah, so I started donating probably around year 2000. They came to my high school, and I, in my early 20s, I was doing all the time. Then I moved to Chico. And just got busy with college and and then just life, you know. Yeah. And I came back and things kind of settled down. And a good buddy of mine actually works for Blood Source, and he talked about the importance of giving and helping people out. So I came back, gave whole blood a few times, and now I'm into doing platelets. And um, I'm getting ready to get on the bone marrow trans uh, transfer list. Right on. Wow. wow. And so why good do you man. choose to do this? What what does it mean to you? Well, I just figure like uh, when people are in need, they really want it, the help. But I figured you got to plan ahead, and I figured there's a lot of people, if it was a close friend of mine or a family member who needs the blood or even just a stranger out there or a kid, you know, just want to help out in any way I can. So uh, you can select the organizations that you uh, want to sponsor. So uh, my, the one I chose was the Shriners Hospital for Children. Wow. You're awesome, G-Man. Thank you so much. Now, how much do you give on a normal basis? Well, when I give whole blood, it's about a pint. But... Oh, a pint. Nurse, can we see what a pint looks like of blood here? You give a pint? Yeah, well, whole blood, but... Uh, the last number of times I've been doing um, platelets, so I do one to three units. One unit takes about 45 minutes, but if it's a full three-unit donation, I'm here on the machine for like two and a half or three hours. Wow, and how do you feel afterwards? Hungover. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why they keep saying, like, you got to hydrate, you know, so yeah, you got to yeah. eat a good meal, don't drink coffee, don't okay. avoid a lot of fatty foods, can't exercise for like three days after that. Wow, and you can't You're go to work either, so it's like a nice way to play hookie. Yeah. Give him back, and you get off of work. Actually, this, for the first time, I usually give after work, but for the first time, I'm actually going to go to work after this. So I told my boss, I'm like, I might be a little bit late. He was, okay. he was cool with it. Wow, well, Is we appreciate Boston you, Green G-Man. Bay Keep Packers? pumping that blood. Alexander, please come here. We want to finish this up with Alexander with Blood Source. Now, why do you want more volunteers to come in and help you guys? Well, since 1948, when Blood Source first opened, we've been relying on generosity of volunteer donors. Right. So every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs blood. That's why it's important for you to come in if you're able to give your time and a little bit of your blood to help out. Absolutely. And also, this is free. You can donate blood for free. And also, people want to give back, and usually that costs money. So this is a great way to do it for free and help people. Yeah, a lot of people want to give back to their community, and this is an easy way to do it. It's free. Um, just a little bit of your time, a little bit of your blood, and you can help someone in need. There you go. Save a life, guys. And how do we get in, in touch with you? The best way is to visit our website, bloodsource.org, and you can schedule your donation appointment and also learn more. All right, well, I need to learn more and, and drink more water because these veins yes. have got to be better for the people. <laughs> and, that, right, and that's a good body. There's got to be some vein in there somewhere. There's got to be. Somewhere. The blood's got to get from way up there and around here and all over the place. Thanks, Rocky. Hey,